Hello, we're back for another video, we're back on Lost Island. Today I'm going to be showing you the best Basilosaurus spawn locations and the best way to tame one. This area that I'm located now is a very good location to find them, it's quite a big area but I've seen quite a few in that area. Down here is also a good location. And at the top left I've seen a few around there, hanging around near the beach and stuff like that. And there's a few other spots around that they can spawn. They are quite hard to find, they spawn pretty much all over the map but not in big quantities so it's a struggle to find one really so let's get straight into it and see how many we can find and after that i will be going through the best method that i like to tame ones so that's our first one that we found 47.1 latitude 26.8 longitude location on the map just go up above the water so we can see of course you do want to be looking at around the beaches a bit further out towards the ocean but not too deep because they don't spawn in deep waters found another one here 70.8 latitude, 23.2 longitude. That is the location on the map. Found another one right next to him, 72.9 latitude, 23.0 longitude. Apologies for this shark in my face. He's literally really close to the other one we just seen. Oh, we got a green one here. Look at that. What a beast. 62.0 latitude, 38.1 longitude. Location on the map. Got another one here, 46.8 latitude, 26.6 longitude. Location on the map. Oh, we finally found a Basilosaurus in Scorched Earth area. 75.9 latitude, 64.9 longitude. There's the location on the map. I was looking for a long time though. We did also find another one in Scorched Earth here, 84.0 latitude, 88.1 longitude. And that is the location on the map, We're right down this little pocket of water that goes down there. Backside of Scorch Earth. Got another one here. 69.7 latitude, 65.5 longitude. So we're on the map. Another one here, 68.2 latitude, 56.7 longitude. Location on the map. Another one here, 15.6 latitude, 70.0 longitude. It's location on the map. And a cheeky Bazzy here, 34.9 latitude, 14.1 longitude. That is the location on the map. Found one here, 42.1 latitude, 30.6 longitude. Location on the map. We got another one, 63.0 latitude, 36.5 longitude. Location on the map. Got another one here, 58.1 latitude, 35.9 longitude. Location on the map. Right, got one here, 70.4 latitude, 75.6 longitude. Location on the map, we did find one here last time. Another one here, 60.6 latitude, 75.5 longitude. Location on the map. Another one here, 62.6 lat, 82.4 longitude. Found ourselves another Basilosaurus in this area, 62.5 latitude, 64.7 longitude, and that is our location on the map. Alrighty, so let's get into what you will need to tame yourself a Basilosaurus. If you're going for a max level one, you will need exceptional kibble. You probably need about 20 if you're on official taming rates. If you don't have access to exceptional kibble, raw mutton will work, raw prime meat, cooked lamb chops will work, and cooked prime meat also work quite well to tame one. Ideally, you want to bring a few scuba tanks and some flippers, because you might have to go deeper in the water. Let's move on to what creatures will help you tame one successfully. First creature and most helpful in taming one is definitely the Baryonyx, as the tail stun attack will help you defeat Mantas with ease. Personally, I think the best way to scout for a Basilosaurus is on the Ichthyosaurus. You can level up their speed and make them ridiculously fast, and that's what you need really, because they're so hard to find, you just want to be able to scout really quickly. So, once you find your Basilosaurus, all you need to do is throw out your Baryonyx, grab Pudge your cheeky dolphin, make sure you've got your exceptional kibble or preferred taming food into the last quick slot of your inventory. And this is the part where we smash in the mantas. So you want to take their aggro, then you want to tail swipe them, all of them, and they all get stunned, and they're realising that they're nothing on me. And that's how you deal with the mantas, they are goners instantly. Just wanna feed them your kibble. 
That's fifteen percent tame. I am on one times taming on this server, so this is the uh, a good estimation of how long it takes to tame one. So once you've fed him for the first feed, you probably do have to wait a good three to four minutes or longer. So this is the point where you just have to wait. Also, when the Basosaurus eats, it does give off some blood. So you've got to watch out for predators that are attracted to that. Baryonyx can pretty much deal with anything. Even the Alpha Megalodons do match for Baryonyx. That's the only thing you have to worry about around uh, these kind of depths. And if you don't want to risk losing him, if you do have to surface for air and stuff like that, you can just track him via the taming HUD. It's currently been three minutes since I fed him now, so I'm just going to have a little peek. There you go. We can feed him now. Once you start feeding it after the second feed, this is all easy because it eats pretty fast after that. Every minute or so you could probably feed him. If you use less efficient feeding methods like cut lamb trots and raw mutton, you will have to wait longer. One more feed to go. Here we go. There we go. We have ourselves a Basilosaurus. Level 82. What a beast. So this level 55 took me about 10 minutes to tame on one time to tame in. That's not too bad. So you're probably looking at double that for a 150. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful to you all and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Goodbye.